At first thought, the idea of an automobile that runs only on the sun's regenerative energy rather than on gasoline or electricity from the grid seems like it would be a very desirable innovation. However, despite the fact that prototypes of solar electric vehicles have been built and raced, there is not yet a solar car that is available for purchase in huge quantities. So what are the reasons behind the lack of viable solar-powered cars? First, let us have a look at some of the most significant difficulties. Battery storage limitations. The ability to store enough energy from the sun in batteries to power a significant driving range is the greatest challenge that a solar-powered vehicle must overcome. Even on a day with a lot of sunlight, the solar panels that are mounted on the top of a car would only be able to produce a maximum of a few hundred watts of power at best. As a point of reference, traveling 100 kilometers in a modern electric car consumes more than 100 kilowatts h of electricity. Batteries, in their current form, are unreasonably cumbersome and weighty for the amount of energy they can store. Even while lithium-ion batteries, which are the current norm, have a higher energy density than prior chemistries, they are still unable to keep up with the quantity of energy that an automobile demands in comparison to the limited surface area that solar panels have. If you wanted to get more than a minor amount of driving range out of solar power alone, you would require a battery pack that was impractically huge and heavy. Space Constraints When compared to other vehicles intended expressly for solar power, such as boats, the amount of roof space that is available for solar panels on a car is rather small. Even if solar cells were to cover the entire roof of a vehicle in addition to other body panels, this would not create enough power during the typical daylight hours to allow for sufficient electric driving. It is possible to put additional solar panels on the outer surfaces of the vehicle, such as the hood, but Doing so would have a severe influence on the vehicle's aerodynamics and fuel economy. It would also be difficult to transport the panels in a compact manner when they were not in use. In general, the present designs for automobiles have physical limitations that limit the possibilities for solar energy collection. Cost considerations. The battery technology that is necessary to store a meaningful driving range from integrated solar panels is not yet available at pricing points that are acceptable to consumers. The use of lithium-ion batteries is still cumbersome and expensive, and their performance degrades over time. The creation of batteries of the next generation with better energy densities at lower costs has significant challenges on both the manufacturing and the technical fronts. On a similar note, high-efficiency solar cells that are adaptable enough to cover large areas of a vehicle's exterior continue to be more expensive than fuel per mile driven. Solar panel production costs have not yet reached the level that are sufficient for mass-market consumer vehicles due to the fact that mass production has not yet brought them down to that level. Performance Deficiencies It would be difficult for a car powered by solar energy to match the acceleration maximum speeds, and driving ranges that are provided by gasoline-powered vehicles. When compared to the energy density of fossil fuels, solar energy collecting rates are quite low. In addition to the limitations imposed by batteries, this has an effect on the performance profile that is expected of mainstream car buyers. Solar recharging could be used as a supplement for electric vehicles, however, Relying only on renewable energy collection from integrated panels would result in underpowered vehicles that would only be appropriate for low speed, short distance travel, this would be a significant disadvantage for the majority of drivers. It is still necessary to develop new battery chemistries in order to close this performance gap. Infrastructure insufficiencies. Even if affordable solar electric vehicles were to arrive in the future, the current transportation infrastructure anticipates fueling and charging timelines that are not compatible with solar recharging alone. It would be difficult to travel over long distances without stopping at rapid charging stations, which typically require grid connections that are not easily accessible in any location. 
The establishment of a sustaining infrastructure consisting of pervasive fast charging and battery switch stations that are positioned in the most advantageous manner for solar recharging will call for vast amounts of coordination and expenditure. Their promise is not going to be fully realized unless such infrastructure as well as technology for solar vehicles that is practical is developed. Inadequacies relating to the technology while solar technology continues to make strides forward, the photovoltaic efficiencies, energy densities, and costs that are necessary for practical applications in the transportation sector have not yet been achieved at scale. New solar materials that are lightweight, flexible, and made of thin films as well as multi-junction cell designs that are capable of harvesting more energy per unit area are still in the research and development stage. In a similar vein, the battery technologies that are necessary to store adequate amounts of energy at low weights using materials that are inexpensive, non-toxic, and sustainable while also being capable of rapid recharging have not fully developed. In order to fully realize the potential of renewable automotive power, it is necessary to overcome the traditional limitations of lithium-ion. Preferences of the consumer market Drivers have become accustomed to the fact that gasoline and diesel vehicles offer long driving ranges and quick refueling times independent of the temperature or the time of day. Even though there is a growing interest in electric propulsion, solar power by itself is not yet able to provide the same convenient driving experience that the majority of car buyers demand. Changing one's lifestyle to consist solely of harvesting from renewable resources is something that many people are unwilling to do. If there is no way to avoid making performance sacrifices, solar augmentation to bridge gaps is likely to face less resistance than full dependence. When it comes to their current vehicle choices, customers place flexibility ahead of environmental friendliness. Environmental trade-offs the green reputation of solar power must also be weighed against the environmental impacts of mining and manufacturing battery materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel at industrial scales. These materials are crucial for the production of lithium-ion batteries, which are commonly used in electric vehicles, including solar-powered cars. Mining and processing these materials can lead to several environmental challenges, Large-scale mining operations often disrupt natural ecosystems, causing habitat destruction and water pollution. The process of extracting these minerals from the earth can involve the use of harmful chemicals and energy-intensive procedures, which can contribute to environmental degradation and increased carbon emissions. Cobalt, in particular, has garnered attention due to concerns about unethical mining practices and child labor in some cobalt-rich regions. These ethical concerns add another layer of complexity to the environmental trade-offs associated with battery production. Additionally, manufacturing batteries, especially on a large scale, consumes considerable energy. In some cases, this energy is derived from non-renewable sources, further exacerbating the environmental footprint of electric vehicle battery production. Furthermore, Addressing the end-of-life cycle of batteries presents its own set of challenges. Aging battery packs from electric vehicles, which are large enough to provide substantial driving ranges, require appropriate disposal or recycling methods. Currently, recycling and disposing of these batteries can be complicated and resource-intensive, and not all components are easily recoverable or reusable. It's essential to acknowledge that any premature transition from conventional gasoline-powered vehicles to electric or solar-powered ones, especially if they rely on unproven technologies, carries the risk of introducing new environmental problems. While the shift toward sustainable transportation is commendable, it must be done thoughtfully and with a full understanding of the environmental trade-offs involved. Obstacles created by regulations Regulations and safety standards pertaining to motor vehicles adapt over time to keep up with developing technologies and the demands of consumers. Introducing substantially novel propulsion needing new testing methodologies and infrastructure verification offers obstacles. 
regulators tend to favor gradual innovation built on proven approaches over abrupt innovations lacking historical precedent. This conservative approach hinders developing innovations seeking validation, potentially locking in incumbent systems before alternatives become viable at scale. While solar-powered cars exploit renewable potential, realistic consumer worries regarding performance, prices, and technical gaps have blocked full-scale commercialization thus far. Years of enhanced photovoltaics, batteries, and accompanying infrastructure will likely be needed to surpass these challenges. Incremental progress. Rather of waiting for an elusive paradigm shift, manufacturers are pursuing more moderate alternatives through electricity-focused vehicles able to harvest solar supplements. Electric automobiles linked with home-slash-public charging increasingly use roof-integrated solar panels complementing grid electricity. Solar charging aids range while minimizing the burden on distribution infrastructure. Over time, incremental achievements could help set renewable energy adoption precedents gradually reshaping transportation patterns. Better batteries may then enable increased electric self-sufficiency in conjunction with other fuels. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.